Hey guys, so I finally got this out on the trail again. Of course, I rode it on my birthday, and then it just had been a busy week, and today's already Friday, and I'm just now getting out to ride it again. I'm up here at Cherry Canyon, and this is a nice trail. Actually, I just got through riding over there, Brown Mountain, and I came up here as a little second extra credit. And I'll be riding back down there. This is where we're at. We're kind of in the middle of the foothills in uh, Pasadena and La Cunada, and the foothills in between called the Verdugos. It kind of separates us from Los Angeles. Well, that's Glendale right there. Los Angeles is way over there, but it's an overcast, dreary day, kind of hot. So let me give you a little rundown what I've got going here. Obviously, it's my Escar Hey Duke or <laughs> Escar Jaffe frame um, in the dusk color, which is a really nice color. And uh, it's a small, it's got the Fox 34 factory fork on it. And um, I went ahead and put the Fox transfer post. And uh, as you see, that's the transfer post and uh, ergon saddle with the oil slick rails. I am gonna get the ergon oil slick grips with right now, these, these ones. And, um, and then as far as tires, I put these huge Terraville tires, Coronados, 29 by 2.8, and they're on I-40 rims. So with the I-40 rims, it really gives it a nice profile to, uh, to um, kind of hold the tire a little more stable. It doesn't really round it out. It, see, it is a little bit round, but doesn't round it out completely. You don't want that light bulb look on your tire. I always think 2.8s really need like an I-40, I-45, especially if you're doing three inch tires, you want an I-45, uh, but at least I-40, the low side. And then on the back, these are I-35 rims and um, with that um, Maxxis Recon 2.6, and Maxxis runs small, so that's really at the very lower end of a 2.6 tire. Some of the other makers, like Terraville, their 2.6 are a little bit wider, um, but as you can see, on look how a little more rounded it is on that I-35 rim. If I would have had an I-40 rim, it probably would have spread it out a little bit nicer and it gives you more sidewall support with these Terraville light and supple you want extra sidewall support and they're really soft compound and so you want to pump them up a little bit higher pressure but then it really gives you a nice soft supple feel and you know what I'm a firm believer on alloy rims on hardtails I just don't believe that carbon rims are going to feel like alloy and especially when you combine that with really nice handmade wheels, three cross double butted spokes and everything like that made for your weight, made by a wheel maker that knows you and your riding style. It's a different wheel than just a off the shelf carbon wheel, it just really is. So uh, the, those race face next cranks, um, those are tried and true. Those are the original ones. I've had those for a long time and they're still hanging strong. Um, endless kick house cog with a KMC chain uh, but that endless kick house cog is a big 30 uh, 23 cog and, and it really is nice to have that bigger cog when you're pushing big tires and a little bit heavier bike it's not that heavy right now I have the hope hubs but you know as you know I have a, a bunch of single speed wheels so I could all switch that out to Hadley's uh, but I, I like the hopes right now on that um, you see it's got XTR pedal or XT pedals. Oh no, those are XTRs. I guess they are. Um, and uh, XT brakes. And so, um, and uh, NV stem and NV bars. So that was kind of stuff that I had. Not the stem, but the bars. I had those bars on my other single speed. This comes with a nice wolf tooth headset. This comes angled out at a 66 head tube angle, which that's 
and a 30% sag, so I think it's closer to 65. But it, it, I like the feel. It's got a little bit longer reach than the Hey Duke, but I don't know how to explain it. It doesn't feel longer. Um, and I have a 50 mil stem and both of them are smaller. So it's something a little bit of way they centered this with the way that um, seat tube angle is, but it feels good. I've already rocked it down LP a couple times and um, got pretty good times. I felt like I, it was nimble. I could, I could, you know, flip it around and stuff. Um, but you know, it's, I'm used to riding a little bit more of the steep head tube angle bikes, you know, like 67, 68. So it doesn't bother me. Um, and this is actually feels nice, a little bit slacker. I don't mind the offset, the fork offset. It, it feels pretty good for me, but I've always had the 51 offset on my bikes. Um, I could switch my NV fork on my rigid single speed back to like a 46 or something like that, but I've never done that. Um, that's it, you guys. But um, it's riding great. I'm glad to get it back out here. I've been promising you guys this video. Thanks for patiently waiting. I patiently waited to get all the parts for it. I still want to switch a few things, but right now it's it's rolling. I'll switch the grips when I get the oil slick grips. I'll switch a few other things I'll surprise you with. I mean, I went a little bit crazy, went with the oil slick bolts. If you see the bolts on here, oil slick water bottle cage. Um, again, oil slick bolts on my brakes and uh, you know kind of just you know just a little little touches you guys that's that's how i like to make my bikes um i like i mean it's a hobby i like to dress them up and and, and play with them <laughs> that sounds bad <laughs> i might cut that out anyway so you guys i'll uh post this video up and let me know what you think and get out there and ride even when it's sucky days like this it's still not that bad it's still we, we still get to ride our bikes later